Welcome to our lesson on the theory of evolution. The key questions for today are How was the theory of evolution developed? Who developed the theory of evolution? What is the theory of evolution? Why was the theory not accepted at first? What other theories were there? The key words that you will need to know are variation, natural selection, generation, controversy, inheritance. The theory of evolution was proposed by an English naturalist called Charles Darwin. Darwin embarked on a five-year voyage around the world on a ship called HMS Beagle in the 19th century. While travelling, Darwin observed many organisms and during a stay on the Galapagos Islands, he collected samples and made drawings of the organisms that he saw. These included finches, tortoise and insects. Darwin noticed in particular that the finches on the islands showed great variation in their beak shape. The finches' beaks were different depending on what their food source was. Some had strong beaks that could crush seeds, others long thin beaks to help them reach into small holes in trees for grubs. Fruit-eating finches had large beaks and tongues to help them eat soft fruit. Some finches even used sticks as tools to help them get food. The study of these birds and other organisms informed Darwin's theory that he continued to work on and develop upon his return. Darwin, after lots of study, including new knowledge of fossils and geology, eventually published his theory in his book called The Origin of Species. Darwin's theory proposed evolution occurs due to a process called natural selection. This means that those organisms best suited to their environment will live longer and breed more, having more chance to pass on their characteristics, leading to the next generation more commonly showing the characteristic that helped survival. Darwin proposed that the change in characteristics of a species was gradual and over many generations. Darwin's work was widely discredited and was rejected by the church as it challenged the idea that God created all of the living things on earth. Darwin's theory was also lacking in evidence. There was very little known about the mechanism for inheritance and there was no knowledge of genes or DNA being linked to physical characteristics. This meant that even other scientists rejected Darwin's ideas. As more was discovered about inheritance and more fossils were discovered, showing that organisms on Earth showed gradual changes over time, Darwin's theory was gradually accepted. A theory that opposed Darwin's was by another scientist called Jean-Baptiste Lamarck, who theorised that characteristics gained through an organism's life could be passed on to its offspring. Using this theory, a giraffe's long neck would be explained by the fact that the parent giraffes had to reach up high to get food, therefore stretching their necks. This characteristic gained during their lifetime would then be passed on to their offspring. We now know that this kind of inheritance does not occur, except in some very special and rare cases. Task. Answer this AQA exam question. In the 1800s, Charles Darwin visited the Galapagos Islands. On the islands, he found many different species of birds called finches. Darwin thought all the different finch species had evolved from one species of finch that had reached the islands many years before. A. Complete the following question. Darwin suggested the theory of evolution by natural... B. The pie chart shows information about 10 species of finch, A to J. 1. How many of the species of finch eat insects? Draw a ring around the correct answer. 2. Describe finch species G. Use only information from the pie chart. C. When Darwin returned to the UK, very few people believed his theory of evolution. 
a different scientist suggested that the changes that occur in an organism during its lifetime can be inherited by its offspring. What was the name of this scientist? Tick one box. And here are the answers. A. Darwin suggested the theory of evolution by natural selection. B. 1. Four finch species eat insects. 2. The finches would live on the ground as they are ground finches and would eat seed. C. Lamarck suggested that a change in an organism over its lifetime can be inherited by its offspring. Extension. Try this AQA exam question. Daphnia are microscopic water fleas. Midge larvae prey on Daphnia. The midge larvae release a hormone into the water. Daphnia respond to these hormones by growing larger, protective helmet-like structures. Scientists were surprised to observe that the offspring of Daphnia females who had been exposed to these hormones always had larger helmets than offspring whose mothers had never been exposed to the hormones. The offspring with the large helmets went on to produce offspring with large helmets. Explain why the scientists' observations seem to contradict the theory of natural selection. Natural selection operates on successful characteristics produced by chance or a random mutation that are passed on over generations. In this experiment, the successful characteristic is caused by exposure to certain hormones. Task. Modern elephants have long trunks. Fossil records show that the ancestors of modern elephants had much shorter trunks. Explain using Darwin's theory of evolution how the elephant's trunk evolved. Contrast this with an explanation using the ideas of Lamarck. Darwin's theory of evolution states that there is variation within a species, so there would have been many elephants with different sized trunks. Those with longer trunks would have been able to reach more food, so would have been healthier and would have lived longer, giving them more chance to breed. Elephants with shorter trunks would have had less food, so would not have lived as long or bred as much. This means in the following generation, more elephants would have a long trunk as the characteristic would have been passed on more often from the long-trunked parents. This would have repeated over many subsequent generations until all of the short-trunked elephants died out and only long-trunked elephants remained. According to Lamarck's theory, the elephants would have stretched their trunks to reach food and would have passed on the stretched trunk to their offspring. Extension. At the time of Darwin's theory, people would not have known which theory was correct. Suggest why. There was very little evidence for both theories as not a lot was known about inheritance. 